Salut! Je m'appelle Lindy. Je suis américaine qui vit en France depuis 5 ans. Whenever I talk to anybody back in the US, French stereotypes always seem to come up. So today I thought we would verify if these French stereotypes are true or false. Coming from the American culture where people can be over friendly, I could definitely see how people would think French people can be rude. However, it's important not to confuse rudeness with being direct. Plus, a lot of times people equate Paris with the whole of France. So if you're at a restaurant in Paris, yeah, the server might not be the most friendliest. Uh, but if you go to other parts of France, you'll see how kind the people are especially if you attempt to speak in French and show a genuine curiosity, people are more open with you. Overall, no. <laughs> you really only see grandpas or hunters or like a woman who's trying to dress a little quirky wearing a beret. As for striped shirts, it originally came from the French Navy and then Coco Chanel in the early 1900s brought it into fashion. You do see striped shirts, but overall the French style is very smart, casual. So it's like classic pieces, simple. Uh, timeless pieces and minimal makeup. Again, there are definitely exceptions and everyone has their own style, but I would say that would be overall in France, the French style. So baguette is such a staple of the French culture. France has more than 30,000 bakeries, so that's one on almost every corner. And there's over 10 million baguettes sold in France every year. And in 1993, there was a law passed called Le Décret Pain, which said that bakers could only use four ingredients in the baguette, wheat flour, salt, water, and yeast. They can't be frozen, and they're not allowed to add any additives or preservatives. This really ensures the quality of the baguette and you can get one at your bakery for less than a euro. This is very true, uh, it's still very common. A lot of people start smoking in high school and you'll see them all gathered at the front gate on their breaks. The government actually raised taxes to try to decrease the sales of cigarettes. So I've noticed instead people buy in bulk and buy tobacco on its own and roll it themselves. They also go to neighboring countries where it's cheaper like Luxembourg or Italy. <music> This is very true. There are over 500 different varieties of cheese in France, so lots of options. It's served at the end of the meal, and even if it's in school lunches, it really is a part of the French culture. And like cheese, there are so many options for quality wine. You can even get like a decent bottle for under 7 euros. Wine is still pretty popular, uh, though I will say among the younger generation it's not as popular, so maybe that'll change within the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. 